Hey everybody, hey here's gonna be a quick video, but I think it's gonna be a, a good video. As you all know, let me spin around here. I have the uh, the 450, the Farmall 450, and um, this one here it's the diesel, but it actually starts on gas, and once the engine is warmed up, you switch over to diesel, which is all you know fine. It's great. Um, I've been having problems with this tractor not starting uh, when after it gets warmed up, or if I would. You know, even hard starting in the beginning when it was uh, when it was cold. So I'm thinking maybe points, maybe a condenser. You know, it, it's all old technology. Then I came across um, a company called Danny's Car Carb Shop, and uh, I give them a call and um, I ask them about the uh, electronic conversion kits that they sell. And uh, yeah, they had it in stock. I think it was two hundred thirty dollars and. I had it in two days, um, which I thought was pretty good. So I got it home and I uh, installed it and the tractor started pretty much um, right off the bat, you know, maybe maybe a couple turns, but compared to what it was before, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. And last time I drove it, I drove it for you know an hour and a half and um, turned it off and it started right back up again, which was what made me really happy because it was a pain in the neck the, the other way, um, not starting. I'm gonna show you real quick here what what came with the kit. Uh, I'll start at the top here. It came with new plugs. I think it's a hotter plug. New wires, a new coil. I guess more output. And it came with. Did it come with it? The, the the cap. I think it did. And what it is, you take out your your uh, points and condenser. And if you look in there, see that uh, aluminum plate. That bolts in place of where the point and condenser came out of. So you install that plate, then you install this electronic device, I'm not sure what it's called exactly, and you basically wire right into the coil and the coil goes into the um, hot on the alternator here. And basically what happens after that's in, you put this adapter, I'm not sure what it's for either, and one way, it clips on. Here's the rotor, which we all know one way also. Spin that and it should drop on. Right there but that's pretty much it though super easy um it maybe took me 10 minutes to install it so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put that distributor cap back on we're gonna start it up we're gonna let it run for a good hour um i'll take it for a little ride on a ride down the street or around the yard or something for a while uh but definitely i'll let it warm up for a while and then um, i'm gonna turn it off and give it a test and see if it uh, starts up like i hope it should it is i hope um I'm thinking it's gone. I'm feeling pretty confident now. If it doesn't start, I'm gonna have no confidence again. So it's gonna be back to square one, but I think we're gonna be okay. So let me put this back together and I'll start it up, let it warm up, and then we'll turn it off and give the ultimate test. So hang tight one second. What I'm gonna do first, uh, I always keep the gas to the carburetor off. So turn on the gas and uh, let's see what happens. run for an hour, hour and a half and see how it starts up. What I do what I do when I switch it to diesel, right now this arm is pulled back. I'm gonna push that forward and I'm gonna give it some fuel to throttle right here. And uh, we should be off and running so I'm gonna put you guys somewhere where it's safe. I'm gonna take it outside, I'm gonna run around, I'll probably 
been about an hour, maybe a little bit more, maybe actually it's been an hour and 20 minutes. And I actually took a ride around the block, probably about two miles. Then I um, parked it in the driveway and I um, went out and got a coffee. And now I'm heading back to the tractor. Actually, it's starting to rain out now, so I want to kind of get in the barn. So let's get out of here. Um, like I said, you can see the rain right now on the windshield. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it's starting to rain. So let's get back down there and see if um, see if I can turn it off and start turn it back on again. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Well, it's still there as it moves. That gate opens up, we're gonna be golden. Yeah, there she is. Sorry about the dirty window there. And yeah, it's still running, I can hear it. So that's a good thing. So it's been running for a while. So let's um get it back in the barn and see if she starts up. Like I said, it's raining out right now, so let's get this in there uh, and turn it off. Let's see if it restarts. Oh yeah, very nice. I'm very happy with that. So, um, like I say, it's hour and 20, 25 minutes of running. Two mile ride right around the block. I think we're good. But um, let's go this. And what you do when you when you turn this gas off, off when you turn it off on gas, kill the key, and then you put the lever forward so the valves. Um, don't get heat, don't get heat warped, I guess they say. I don't know all the details about it, but that's what I'm told. So, I'm pretty happy. That was the ultimate test. I think what I'll do next time is uh, take it out and I'm going to do that second cut on that field uh, 
next uh, you know three or four days of dry weather so but the purpose of the whole video I'll keep out keep out of the rain is if you have an older tractor with a point and sink condenser just just change it put electronic in it uh, I seem like it runs better it runs smoother it starts up beautiful now so money well spent so that's it hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time I'm out